Okay, I am gonna do a hair video. I do get asked a lot about my hair. I have for my whole life because it's a, uh, it's a lot. I have a lot of hair. You can probably, I mean, it's hard to tell, but I have, I have a lot of thin hair, but it's considered thick because there's so much of it. But the hair itself is very thin and fine. So it's an interesting balance of all the hair that's a little bit, little tiny, little tiny hairs. So I'm going to do a few different ways of styling my hair over the next like week or so, how I style my hair, because there is just a lot of it. And this is it pretty natural, which sometimes if I'm just having a casual day, like working from home, going out for a hike or a walk, I will leave it like this. It's a bit wavy in the front. It's like curlier in the back. Not really sure why I can't do that all the way around, but I am going to actually curl it today. I use a one inch barrel. I'm going to basically just do loose waves because I find when I do the loose waves, it'll stay in my hair for like a day or two. So I don't actually have to do much touch up. It's usually just around my face where I'll touch it up. So that is one of my one go-to hairstyles. So let's, let's start styling it and then you can see what it looks like from this to what it'll be soon. layer this is section one of possibly three sections that I do now I spray it I just use this dove three out of five hold so it's not like going to keep everything so tight it's more just to add product in because I find product helps my hair like hold a little bit longer. Um, I don't like using a lot of product because as you know, I don't wash my hair very often. So if you use more product, you have to wash your hair more, which I'm just not about to do. So this is the bottom layer. I'll probably touch up any pieces that I feel like stick out and look weird, but for right now, bottom layer. And then that took about, I would say 10 to 12 minutes for that one. Now I do another section. This is section two of three. And as you can see, it's also still a lot of hair. I will go through and basically do the same thing. Like suddenly with this section out, you don't even see what I've already done. Like all the work is gone. <laughs> so I have to do it by section. Otherwise it's just like literally, I can't do all of it with my hair down at once. So this is section two back in with the one inch sometimes i give it a little bit of a break to like reheat because i find when i'm doing like a full section for 10 minutes even though the heat is still the same it doesn't stay as hot so i let it warm up again go back in another 10 minutes Obviously it looks like extra ringlety curly. It will fall very quickly. It will start to dissolve. So I will do the top and this is where I have to like pay attention to the bangs, any top pieces to like highlight it, to make it look a little bit better, but there, and then again, you can see like suddenly there's all this straight hair that hides all the work I've done. Like imagine going out like this, this is crazy. <sighs> my hair. This is why I don't always have my hair done because it's just, it's time. That's another 10 minutes. So now it's been about 20 minutes of just curling and it'll probably be about 30 in total. I admire women who do this once a day, every second day. I just haven't figured out how to prioritize the time. And I'm trying to understand that because why is it a bad thing to prioritize yourself looking good? 
Where does that come from? Just thoughts I have as I do my hair. Here it is basically done. What I do is I kind of go through and see if there's any pieces that I need touching up that just feel like maybe the ends are feeling funky. Sometimes the ends just don't, don't cooperate the way that I would want them to. Um, yeah, and then normally what I'll do is I'll wait a little bit before I like use my hands to de-tease it. The bang pieces are always interesting just based on how long my hair is, which right now, I don't actually like know if this is the length that I like them at. One side also, this side has a cowlick, so this side is harder than this side. For the most part, they cooperate. And then I'll do one last big spray. I also have a cowlick at the back, so I try to <laughs> smooth that baby out too. But yeah, this is the sort of natural wave look. So I'll, I'll go through with my fingers, try to loosen up these also like truly on their own within like a half hour to an hour, it'll fall. But this is how it looks. Um, time today was about 29 minutes for this hair. And then I will show you how I do my hair a different way in like a couple days when I decide to do my hair in a different way. Okay, <laughs> one more thing. Obviously the makeup is done. It always just feels better when the makeup is done and the hair is done. Just like, I feel like I'm alive. Like I'm a whole new woman. Uh, if you want a makeup video, let me know because it's pretty basic. I think I've shown you, but if you want one, I will show you. The last thing I do is I put in hair oil. This is from a brand called Heritage, which hilarious, um, I got gifted I think five years ago, this was like pre-pandemic, so five, six years ago, it is the cheapest hair oil. It's like five or six dollars for that bottle. And it is the only hair oil that doesn't literally like grease up my hair, if you know what I mean. Like I feel like a lot of hair oils, it's too oily. And I have very dry hair, so I actually need that oil. But this is pretty great, I think. Up until recently, it was only available at, at Walmart, which also hilarious. Um, but I do think they're on Amazon now, so I will find a link and put it in the description. But this helps just kind of give it that like finished look. Like I just, like I left a salon. It's uh, it's, It looks good. I haven't done my hair like this in a minute because again, a half hour. It's a commitment, but this is it. This is what um, effort can look like. All right, we're back with another hairstyle. So uh, my hair has been air dried. I washed it last night. And so you'll see the back has like this texture that I wish all of my hair had. It's like wavy, like the mermaid waves, that's the back. And then the front is just straight and fluffy. Um, so I'm going to use the lovely three barrel to go through and basically give all of it this texture that's at the back. That's like these like nice kind of waves. Um, so this is something I actually do, I would say pretty frequently, especially as my like side bang face frame pieces grow out and they don't, I don't think they look good just like around my face. So I usually use this and the nice thing about doing this is it doesn't have to be perfect. So this is quicker than when I did the curls. The curls is like a 30 minute excursion. This usually is like 10 to 15 minutes. So way more manageable. It's easier to like keep up throughout the week. And once I do it once, it's really just like going in and touching up pieces. I try to sleep with a bonnet on. So that obviously helps keeping any texture, waves, any anything I put in it, it helps keep that. So. I'm gonna go through, I don't have to like section it off the way that I usually do, especially with curls. Sometimes I'll section the top and then do that just so it feels a little bit more intentional. So I'll take an assessment of where my hair is at and then start going in with this three barrel. Sure that I'm not giving like the 
same wave lines across. I'll start near the root and then I'll like twist. So when the second, second section comes in, it isn't like perfectly aligned and it'll kind of give it almost like a curl instead of a crimp, if that makes sense. But I do have to hold it for a while. I don't know if this is because my hair is like thick or what, but I do feel like I have to hold it a lot longer than what I've seen other people do. Like I'm like counting because I, maybe it's just I'm impatient. I think it's probably because I'm impatient. But you can see that like it gives a bit more of like an imperfect twist. And then that way, when it gets to the back of my hair where it's already doing its natural wavy crimp twist, it matches that. And I don't really actually have to touch up the back. Like I said, it's kind of doing it already. So I only look for pieces that are like sticking out and looking like, oh, this is super straight. Like I need to go in and add some, some waves, some texture, some movement. And then otherwise it's pretty good to go, which is really lovely. And again, with it being imperfect, not like curls, it doesn't take as long and it doesn't have to look so put together. So like, so polished, I guess. This is more of like a, an unpolished look, which obviously something I choose because I just don't feel like a super polished girl, but I'm working on that. Like I'm just trying to, um, you know, get there on my own, on my own time, figuring it out for myself. Now we're gonna do the top layer. So again, like when I do <laughs> my curls, I put the top layer down and it's like, you don't even know that I did work, that there was work done under here. It's this like issue of having so much hair and I know I shouldn't complain, I just wish I just knew more about how to do hair or also was okay with a dedicating time to doing hair. Again, it goes back to like being a polished girl or a polished woman. I just have never prioritized hair or makeup in my life. I blame growing up in the country, being raised by a stay-at-home dad and having a little brother. It just like wasn't, um, was an example for me that women can spend this much time. And I'm really trying to understand the importance of like, I get the importance of taking care of yourself. It's not that, it's when women take care of themselves, it's considered being like over the top or high maintenance. Whereas when men take care of themselves, it's like, oh, good for him. Like he actually cleans up, like he dresses well. So I'm trying to just not let maybe comments that were said to me in the past or things I've overheard about women prioritizing their outward appearance, being high maintenance or frivolous, and just remembering that it's an act of self-love. And I love myself, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take care of myself by using a three-barrel curler to do these waves. shorter pieces like this side has responded well this side has not so well so I'm going to try to fix it to the best of my ability but I also find the hair around my face is if I put too much heat on it it just like stops responding so okay oh, thank goodness and this is basically it so very similar to the curls it will fall more it'll eventually feel like a bit more organic and less like I went through with a waver. I'll put a little spray and oil in it and that's basically this style. All right, it is almost hair wash day, as you can tell. So one of the styles that I like to do when I'm going to be washing my hair is I slick it back, which I feel like everyone does a slick back style. So. This isn't new, I do have a lot of hair, so I would say that the way other people slick back their hair does not always work for me. I have a few different products, 
I usually start with the um, this day, I guess it's like a styling cream, it's not like a gel. It smells amazing. It definitely does mean I have to wash my hair like within a day or two because it adds obviously a lot of product. About like a dime size and then I slather it in around the front pieces because those are always my pieces that have a harder time being styled. Try to make sure that the part is correct as well. So I slide all that in, get it in there basically to help it lay flat because when you do have a lot of hair, it doesn't necessarily lay flat the same way. Um, I did see a TikTok recently about finding out like where to slick back like if it's a low pony, mid or high. For me, I've actually been enjoying a mid pony pulled back. So I'm gonna do that and you get to see the process of all this hair being pulled back because it is a lot. I really do, it feels like an arm workout. So I usually start by just getting it all in my hand where I want it. I don't worry about how it looks right now, like all of this chaos. I get it to where I wanna have it. So for me, the mid is like sort of from the eyebrows straight back on like a slight angle up. And then this is literally just like a brush from Shoppers. I don't have any of the fancy brushes, mostly because they're so expensive. I do have one on my list, but it's like, it's a lot of money. It's not something I need. So basically I just get everything at least brushed back. And then it's, it's an aggressive brush, I'm not gonna lie. I am putting a lot of weight into pushing it back and getting it back. Today is actually not too bad to get it back because I did have it in a low, kind of slick bun yesterday. I didn't really style it like with product. I just had it pulled back because I was working on the computer all day and my hair was driving insane. So I had it already like, I guess the hair is trained from yesterday to be pulled back. So it's, it's pulling back a lot easier. There's always going to be chunks that drive me insane. So basically this is a pretty good situation, but what I want to do to make it even smoother is I use a, um, I think it's like a boar hair brush. This is like just a pretty simple one and it does absolutely amazing job just getting everything looking really tight, really snatched as they say. And for me, like with thick hair, it helps basically smooth out the top layer of hair because there's, there's a lot of hair. So if the top at least is smooth, you don't notice if there's like bumps or kinks or anything underneath. So it's a lot. It's an upper body workout. I don't know how people do their hair every day. And I talked about this when I was curling it. It's like, it's a, lot, it's a lot of work doing your hair all the time. I would do this all the time, but I don't like to wash my hair too much. And obviously this uses product. And if you're using product, you need to wash your hair more. I think that's why I can, I guess, get away with washing my hair only once a week is I only use product if I'm doing this. And I usually do this close to hair wash day. So if you see me with slicked hair, you probably know I'm about to wash my hair. Um, it's pretty good. There's a few spots where it's like the underneath layers, the bumps are bumping out. Okay, so once I get to a place that seems like 90% solid, I'll put my elastic in. And this is like a very strong, very tight elastic. So I make sure that it is as snug as I can get it. Pull it tight and then there's still like wispy pieces and that's when I use this little like wax stick. It's from, I don't even know what it's from, SNTE? I don't know. I think I bought this on Amazon, but it works great. I know that there's a bunch of brands now that do this, but I will link this one just because I think it was like $5 or something. So I will link it. It's pretty good. 
basically you just start to push it in and push your hair down it'll start you can see to like really tighten it up um, especially if Catholics like me, this one side, like my left side, always bumps more because the cowlick doesn't allow the hair to lay completely flat. So it really helps with that. And then I do it all the way kind of to the back because I also have gray hair. So I want to be able to hide my gray hair. It's like tuck them in. And this gives it that uh, ability to do so. And I go back in with the brush. And really smooth it out so now I basically just go and look at where all my gray hairs are and just try to hide them <laughs> so I just peek through and say oh there's too many showing a few is fine because let's be honest most of us have gray hair I hope please tell me you have gray hair I'm not the only one that would be I know I'm not the only one but still try to normalize it um, and because I still have relatively, I guess, like short enough bangs that they don't go all the way in the pony, they do get slicked back with the product, but I still will put in bobby pins just because I'm paranoid of them loosening up at some point. So I'll do a bobby pin on each side where I know the bangs sort of end just to give it that extra support and snatch. And then what I like to do, because this hair just kind of feels like a little, mm, is I'll braid it and then do a loose kind of braided bun. It's like two hairs that didn't make it in. And that is the shape of it. Hopefully it looks good. I can never tell. It feels good. And of course, the last thing is hairspray. I just use this Dove hairspray. It's not like too intense. You're not gonna get like a helmet, but we go all over. And that's, that is it. This look I like to do, um, bigger earrings with just to make it like kind of pop. So I'll do these ones that I got a couple weeks ago. And that is that. That is the, probably the last go-to hairstyle I have. I feel like I don't really rotate through a lot of other styles. I'll do different variations of the slick back, whether I said it's like a low pony or like half up slick and then the bottom is just like wavy or the like crimped with the three barrel. But these are very easy hairstyles that hopefully you can recreate at home. And I'm going to be honest, they don't take too much skill or too much effort. So they're definitely doable. Let me know what hairstyles are your favorite or if you want me to try something different. If you have recommendations, I'm open to recommendations. I'm always willing to try something new.